Hello everybody, this is Violet Thorne from High Cards. I hope you're having a fantabulous day. I am but another member of the High Cards Council. I am Rose Thorne's twin. It is such a pleasure to make my debut on this channel. I will be making Pokemon content for the High Cards channel, so it is a pleasure to meet you all. And for my debut video, I've decided to go with a tier list for the all the new Generation 9 Pokemon. So we have S for the best, then we have A for not as good as the best, but still pretty good. B is middle of the line, like, it's alright, but isn't the best. C is below average, like, you could have used a bit more improvement. And D is not good, like, genuinely just not good. But now that we've got the basics covered, let us get into it. So first off, we have Powder and Tauros. I think it's a bit basic, but I really like the fact that there's three different styles for the three different types it has. So B, in my opinion. Powder and Wooper. I don't... I don't really like Wooper in general, but I like this Powder and variant, or Powder and Form, sorry. So... I will give it, let's say, a B. It can go nicely with Tauros. S for Sprigatito. Straight up, Sprigatito is my favourite of the three uh, Gen 9 starters. Absolutely love it. So adorable. Colours are on point. And Florgato and Miascarada is going to go nicely there in the S as well. Florigata is possibly the best middle stage evolution ever, in my opinion. It looks so cool, and it's like a weaponized yo-yo. That, that is sick, in my opinion. And Miascarada is just awesome. I love its uh, signature move being Flower Trick. That is, that is so much fun. And you may actually hear some noise in the background. I'm playing some uh, Pokemon Violet at the moment. Doing some raids, getting some of the Herd of Mystica. But now that we've got that side, let us continue. Fuey Coco is a B. I, I wasn't really as uh, big of a fan as everyone else. I think it looks okay, just not really my cup of tea. Crocolore is A. I think it looks top quality. Not as good as Florigato. But I think it's good. Skeledurge. That can go on the top of A. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. I love the colours of it. I love everything about it. Quaxley is a... A, yeah. I think it's adorable. I think it's nice. Nothing particularly wrong with it. Uh, Quaxley's second evolution, I forgot its name, my apologies, is a D. I don't like it at all. It's not great. It's the pure opposite of Florigato, in my opinion. And Quackwavall, or however you pronounce it, my apologies. The Quaxley's third evolution is... It can go on A as well. And just like Skeletor, it can go just above it. I actually know. I like Waxley more. I think it's fine. I like its animations in game. That's pretty neat. So yeah, that's all the starters and a few others so far. So let us continue. Lechonk. I really think is a great Route 1 early Pokemon. So B. Oinkalone is B. So a lot of these uh, ones that we're going across now will probably go bit more quickly through them. The starters are quite important, so I wanted to take a bit more time on them. But let us continue. The Dunsparce, everyone waited for an evolution. I love it. I think it's awesome. I don't particularly love Dunsparce, but for an evolution of Dunsparce, I think it's great. B. Tarantula is A. Oh, I love it. I'm doing my first playthrough of Scarlet at the moment, and Tarantula is on my team. Spidops, I think goes with A. Nimble, 
I really do like Nimble. It is quite simple, but I respect it. It's nice. Low kicks I don't like. D, straight up, don't like it. It's just very annoying in the overworld. It kept running at me, so I don't like that. Uh, Relor. B. Can, yeah, I like I like it there. Actually, I'm now thinking about it, having these two side by side. I'm going to put Nimble down and see. It's really not my favourite. Rabskara, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, B. I think that's fair. Graveyard. Now, I wasn't as big of a fan of when it was announced, but in-game, it is adorable! Oh my goodness, I love it! It is going into A. And Houndstone, love it too. That is adorable. Flittle, I think it's adorable. B. Espartha, A. I really think that's a neat Pokemon, honestly. Farigaraf, I actually genuinely love this Evo. Uh, sorry. Uh, Jirigaraf, uh, Giraffery, yes, that's its name. It needed an evolution for so long, and I think Farigaraf is a great evolution, in my opinion. Uh, Wiglet, I can't deny, I liked it, and I like Wugtrio. There we go, yep. So, so far, I'm a pretty big fan, and it's only going to get better. Dondozo. It's going straight to the top of A. Oh, I love Dondozo. Oh my goodness. Veluza. Second in A. I love these two fish Pokemon. See, Veluza and Low Kicks had the same problem. Veluza kept swimming at me super fast, but I guess it's just the bias thing, maybe. I just think Veluza is so cool. And I just love it, honestly. And Finism. C. I actually, Finism can go on B. And Palafin can go on D. I don't particularly. I think it looks nice. But it's really similar to just a real world dolphin. Nothing all too unique about it. Um. Palafin, I spent most of my second day playing the game, trying to evolve my Finison, and I just don't like it, honestly. Palafin is not great. I replaced it not too long later with Tatsugiri, which will get a really high ranking, spoiler alert. And now, we have another member for our S group, S for Smoliv, Doliv, and our Bolivar. Love these three. Olives are one of my favourite uh, foods, so I think it is amazing. And they really pulled off the olive vibe amazingly. Capsicid is D. Oh, I don't like it. Scoville, on the other hand. That's cool. I'll give it a B. I, I don't like Capsicid, but I love what it evolves into. Uh, Tad Bulb, love the name, love the Pokemon, it's an A. Belly Bulb is B, oh, I prefer Tad Bulb. Oh, and these two amazing ones. It can go here, just behind the loser. And um, Reverone can go a little b at the end of A. These two are so cool, honestly. And I did get a shiny uh, Varoom the other day, so... I was pretty happy about that. My first one I got after I got the shiny uh, shiny charm. Orthworm, C. I don't particularly care for it. Uh, mouse hold and tandem mouse, uh, C. Yeah, I don't have all too much of an opinion on it. Yeah, I. Don't, I don't, I haven't experienced any time with the mouse hold line, so I'll just have to, I'd like to use it a bit more before I have a full opinion on it. 
Now, Satotl and Satitan, that is both S tier. That is top quality. I love Satitan when it was first revealed, and I love its evolution. It is so, so adorable. Uh, Frigabax is B. Arctabax, uh, I'm sure if I'm pronouncing these wrong. And Baxcalibur is A. That one can go at the top of B. I like the middle Eva in this one. Frigabax is just, I don't like how derpy it looks. Oh, I don't really understand it. It looks like, is it meant to be a bat or a frozen bat? I don't know. Arctabax is really cool. I like the spike and the claws. Then we have Baxcalibur, which I think is cool, and it's a really neat name. Tatsugiri, welcome to... Uh, let's see. Welcome to the S crew. It now fun fact: Sprigatito, Satite. Oh, sorry, Miascarada, Satitan, and Tatsugiri were three of my final team members. As I said earlier, I replaced the Palafin with Tatsugiri. I just think Tatsugiri is awesome. It's. It. I don't know why I love it. I just love it. Cyclozar is B. I never liked it all too much. Actually, I'm going to make it a C. I, uh, no, I do like its design. I just also don't like its design. Poor me, poor mo, and poor mot. As a poor me can go there. I think the Evo line just doesn't actually... I like Paul Mott better than Paul Mo, but it should have changed more. Yeah, I don't really have all too much of an opinion on it. Wattrel and Killer Wattrel, I love these. I did get a shiny Wattrel actually, so I'm pretty excited to eventually use that. Uh, Bombardier, this one was a surprise to me, I didn't know. Uh, did not expect to like this one so much. So this one is a top quality A going up here. Uh, Squawkabilly, I believe it. That can go right next to Bombardia. Oh, I love the bird Pokemon this generation, and Flamigo is the fourth member of my final team, getting nicely up there in S. Actually, it can go on the top of S. Flamigo is my new favourite Pokemon of, of this generation at this point in time. Cloth is uh, B, midline, I don't really have an opinion on it. The Nackley 9 with Sorry, Nackley line. I can't really pronounce their names. I want to say Nackley is... Honestly, the whole line is really top quality. So we'll put that there. Now this one is going to go on S, but I didn't use it in my final team. See, I didn't use the Smaller Flying in my final team. I just always love the Smaller Flying. The Glimmer and Glamora, I think, are phenomenal. I love it. They're so adorable. I don't really understand them. And spoiler alert for the next five seconds or so, seeing Glamora in the Area Zero is so amazing. Just how it is on the walls and whatnot. But there you go, that's spoiler alert over. Might have been a little longer than five seconds, my apologies. Uh, Shrewdle and Grafaye, don't like Shrewdle, it looks weird, or dumb, I don't know. And B, I never really cared about Grafaye. I feel like my opinion on Grafaye might change in the future though. Fido, Fairy is my favourite type, but I just don't like F Fido. And Dash Bun, <laughs> oh I can't deny, I like it, but not too much. Now, this is one of the biggest surprises of the gen. Mastiff, 
is an A and the boss diff is an S. Or if you've played Arvin's story, then you probably know why the boss diff is S. The mash diff, I really want to get a shiny one. Oh, and uh, speaking of shiny, this one is a very particularly difficult to hunt a shiny variant of Bramblin. Oh, but I do love tumbleweeds. Oh, it's gonna have to go S just because I have a bias towards tumbleweeds. That's so cool. And it's Eva as well, which... Oh, I can't pronounce it same. I saw it at this moment. My apologies. Gimme ghoul. I like it. I really do. Goldango. Once again, these two are neat. Not gonna lie, for the majority of my playthrough, I thought they were mythicals. But I get I'm not exactly sure if they are or not, but I think they are neat. Now for the paradox forms. A lot of the past ones I won't be able to pronounce their names completely correctly, so my apologies. I think it's a great task. A Brute Bonnet, A Sandy Shocks, B Screamtail, A Flutamane, A Slitherwing, A actually S for Flutterman. Roaring Moon, A uh, Iron Treads, A Iron Moth, A Iron Hands, A B oh wait no, oh. oh, I've got a fun story about Iron Hands, it can stay in B actually, Iron Jugulus, that gets S and is my second favourite Pokemon of this game, Iron Thorns, can go on A, Iron Bundle, A, Iron Valiant, is A, okay so, I just wanted to get through the Paradox once and then explain my reasoning. So majority of them, as you can see, is in A. I think they're all pretty neat. And I just want to go over the concept of Paradox Pokemon in another video. I absolutely love them. It's so neat. Just the concept in itself. Teasing off with the Iron Treads and Great Tusk. I absolutely love them. So awesome. Uh, Iron Hands, now that is my least favourite paradox. Not because it's a bad Pokemon or anything. It's just it took four shiny sandwich hunts to get a shiny one of them. So I do have one now. But I know I can reset the sandwiches and so I don't lose ingredients. But along the hunt I got other shinies so I didn't want to uh, reset it. So it took me four sandwiches to finally get Iron Hands, so it just took longer than expected. Sandy Shocks, I just don't have anything for it, it's just not my cup of tea. I think it looks neat though, Magneton was a cool choice to get a Paradox. This uh, Iron Valiant is awesome, absolutely phenomenal. Iron Bundle, uh, actually I'm going to drop that to B. Currently shiny hunting it at the moment. I think it's average. Iron Thorns is cool. Iron Moth is cool. Iron Treads, Roaring Moon, Slitherwing, uh, Screamtail, Brute Bonnet, Great Tusk. They're all pretty much the same opinion, honestly. Then we have Fluttermane, which I just really like its design, honestly. Mischievous is a cool Pokemon, and I'm just happy with its design. Good stuff. It's a good Pokemon. Now, Iron Jugular is my favourite of the Paradox Pokemon entirely. This is absolutely phenomenal. It looks so cool and reminds me of Bakugan. If you know that, that's that's pretty cool. But it it's awesome. And I did hunt a shiny one. It was the first shiny I hunted, I believe, in the game. Might be wrong about that, but it was the first. It was probably my most proudest moment in the game thus far. And let us continue. The four ruinous legendaries, I may get their names wrong. Ting Lu, that can go on B. I can't pronounce this one. The 
ice weasel one. A. Wo Xian or Wo Qian. A. Then Shi Yu. It can go high A. There. So, Ting Lu, I just don't like how blocky it looks. I like it's like cauldron antler aesthetic. I'm not exactly sure about the mythos behind it. Wo Qian, I think, is phenomenal. I love it. A legendary snail. Sign me up any day. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the name and don't want to say it incorrectly, so the ice weasel I'll refer to it as. Uh, the frozen sword tooth aesthetic is awesome. It is really cool. I love it. Don't really have too much to say. I don't know all too much about the uh, ruinous legendaries. I know they can be a tad bit annoying to get with the destroying of each of the stakes, but that's fine. And Chi Yu, I love it! Honestly, wow! The animation and the design and the colour of it, it's, it's awesome. Deserving of the A. Uh, Coridon. Ooh, uh, hi, A. Not on the loser and Dondozo level. But still pretty neat. I think Coridon is great. At first I wasn't a big fan of it, honestly. Usually when it comes to a new Pokemon release, I like one version more than the other. And I like Violet more than Scarlet. But I've had some time to get used to Coridon as someone traded it to me in exchange for my second Moridon to complete my decks. I absolutely think it's amazing. And it's signature move, the collision course, its ability, it is phenomenal and it is so colourful, wow! Like, I believe it's the sunlight effect in this game is absolutely colourful and phenomenal. Love it. Uh, Tinker Tink. Now this whole line straight up is going in the ass. This was another member of my team. Tinker, t uh, Tinker Tarp. And Tinker Ton. Don't know why, uh, the Tinker... Don't know why Moridon was there in the middle of the Evo line. But besides the point, let us talk about it. So, this whole line... I didn't know anything about it. I like looking at its lore, the connection towards it and the Pokemon Corviknight. That is a uh, pretty neat in my opinion. And in general, this is a pretty, pretty beefy, pretty powerful Pokemon. I use it a lot in raids. Uh, specifically, it's move Gigaton Hammer, or I believe that's how it's pronounced. Maybe incorrect. Is absolutely phenomenal in raids, in my opinion. The next legendary Pokemon, Maridon. S. I think Maridon is absolutely sick. And it can go high S just behind our Bolivar. I, I've always just loved the design of uh, Maridon. It Looks absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. Charcadet. See, I don't like it. Don't particularly like it all too much. Not my... It looks... Its head is way too big. Its body is too small proportion wise. Uh, Armor Rogue. Is... C. I don't like it. I, I don't, I don't compare it to Cerulege, which, spoiler alert, will be S. I don't like it all too much. It's just not my cup of tea. Comparing it to what is another member of my team, and at this point is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that was my final team. Cerulege the colours, its signature move, bit of blade, oh my goodness, that is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Toad's Cure, 
B. Now, I don't know why Toad's Cruel isn't on this list, but I'll give that a B, but a high B, probably between Artifacts, uh, actually, probably between Pate and Wee and Fue Coco. King Gambit, I give that an A. I like it. I really do. <coughs> Clodsire. Now, I didn't like Powder and Wooper, but I like Clodsire. It is awesomely adorable. Annihilate. This is cool, but I don't think I like it. Let's see, I think it is cool, but I just don't know if I like it. Like, I do think Man uh, Primate should have got another Evo, but I just don't, I just don't know, you know? But, let's take a, another quick look at our list. In the D, Shrudel, Capsicard, uh, Palafin, Low Kicks, and Quaxley's Middle Evo. Nay, not good. Nimble... Uh, Othworm, Mouse Old Tandem Mouse, Fido Chopper Dead, Armor Road Gun Isolate, it's like the Poker Wrap. Uh, C, pretty happy with my choices there, not happy with the Pokemon. <laughs> Nimble could go on B maybe. Toad's Cool slash Toad's Cruel, Ting Lu, Iron Bundle, Iron Hands, uh, Sandy Shocks, etc. You saw me place it there, you don't need me to read it out. B, I'm really happy with it. A, a lot in A. Wow, I did not realise to put all those in A. Wow. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And S, my favourite of this gen, would actually be a tie between Iron Jugulus and Flamigo. Yeah, this has been my list of the, a tier list of all the new Gen 9 Pokemon. I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been Violet Thorn from High Cards, and I hope you have a lovely day. Ciao!